I'm Holly Yo, and I'd like to show you the Japanese method for working short rows. This is the ebb and flow blanket from my new book, Tempest. It has gently curving lines that are created by the short rows. On this version of the blanket, you can see the short rows here and here. And on this version, it's much more difficult to see the short rows, and that's because it's worked in the same color. There are several ways to work short rows. One of my favorites is the Japanese method. This is even tied, and the subtle back neck and shoulder shaping are created with Japanese short rows. And they're virtually invisible here. Unlike the more widely known wrap and turn, the stitches at the turning point are not wrapped. And this results in a smoother and visible finish. Step one, work to the turning point and turn your work. Slip the first stitch purlwise, then take your self-locking stitch marker and place it around your working yarn. You don't want it on your stitch or your needle, but you want it around the working yarn. Hold it up snug to your knitting, and then purl the next stitches. And as you can see, this traps the stitch marker between your stitches, and here's the big gap caused by the uh, turn. As you can see, I have three marked spots where I turned and worked in the other direction, and you can see the gaps caused by those, those turns. Next, I'll show you how to close the gaps. Closing the gaps. When it's time to work past one of the big gaps in your knitting, you wanna make sure that you close it at that time. So work right up to the gap, then grasp your stitch marker that's uh, at the marked stitch and pull it out just a little bit so that you create a loop and that loop goes onto your knitting needle. See there's uh, a long leg and a short leg on that loop and you want the long leg to be on the front of your knitting needle, like that. Now do a knit two together. And the gap is closed. You can take your stitch marker off now or when you get to the end of the row, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to work up to the next gap. Grasp the stitch marker and place the loop on my left hand needle. And do a knit two together. And there are no gaps. And here we are with a completed row of closed gaps. You can see there are no gaps when looking at the front or at the back. The loop helps to close the gap created by turning and working in the other direction. The Japanese short row method uses a smaller loop of yarn than the wrap and turn method and it's almost invisible on the back of the work. The Ebb and Flow Blanket is the perfect project for practicing short rows. Thanks for watching this tutorial. To see more, go to hollyyo.com or sweetgeorgiayarns.com.